Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we're asked to prove without graphing that the graph of the function has at least two x-intercepts in the specified interval. We have y is equal to x squared minus 3 plus 1 over x. And we're looking on the interval from 0 to 2. So here we have a polynomial and a rational function. And what we know is um, that these two functions from theorem seven are continuous over their domains for x squared minus three that is all real numbers and for one over x that just means that x cannot be zero and theorem four states that when we add them together it's going to have the same domain and therefore continuity restriction this function is continuous at all values of x other than zero. And so what we are going to do here is say, since um, this function, since y is continuous over the interval from zero to two, right? Notice not including zero because x can't be zero, but not including zero from zero to two, we can use the in intermediate value theorem um, to say that if, and now we have to pick points, um, obviously you can, you know, keep picking points until they work, but the idea behind what we're going to try and do is say, okay, we have x is equal to zero and x is equal to two. And we, for whatever function this ends up being, are going to have two x-intercepts. So first let's try f of zero and f of two, right? And we'll see why in a second can't plug in zero directly um, because there we can't, you just can't plug in zero. So let's do um, y is equal to 0 0.01, it's close enough, squared minus 3 plus 1 over 0 0.01. And this is going to be approximately 97. Um, for, let's try the other end of the interval, 2. 2 squared minus 3 plus 1 over 2, that's going to be 1.5. So normally with the intermediate value theorem, what you want to do is you want to get a positive number and a negative number. And what that means is if you say, okay, we know this point exists and this point, since we're going from positive to negative and it's continuous, we know that it must intersect to the function. Here we're going from positive to positive, but that's actually what we want because that means we're starting at a positive number, we're dipping down below to negatives, hitting one uh, root or x-intercept, and then we have to go back to hit the other x-intercept to be positive again. So if we just try a value in the middle, say 1, 1 squared minus 3 plus 1 over 1 is equal to negative 1, that's our negative point in the middle. So we can say that since um, if we want to call this, if we say y of 0 0.01, is greater than zero, and y of one is less than zero, since we are going from positive to negative, there is an x-intercept in the range from 0 0.01 to one, where y of x equals zero. Right, because we're passing over, we have to hit it at some point because it is continuous. Also, since y of 1 is less than 0 and y of 2 is greater than 0, we also know that there is an x-intercept in the range from 1 to 2, where y of x equals 0. Therefore, in the range from 0 to 2, right, sort of combining these two together, there are at least... Right, these are just the two that we know about, at least two x-intercepts. Using the fact that we have a continuous function and with the intermediate value theorem, it's going from positive to negative to positive and therefore hitting zero twice on the way. 